Hi, my name is Steven Anneker, inventor of the Polishing Pro System. The Polishing Pro System is a revolutionary system that combines our patented polishing compounds and pads and enables you to polish the surfaces of stone. This video is intended to show you how the system works and to demonstrate the types of results that you can expect by using our system. Before we begin, I'd like to show you what you're going to need to surface polish the stone. It should be noted that the Polishing Pro system was designed to pick up and give you that glass shine where all the standard polish pads are not able to go. So, obviously you will need a set of diamond pads up to 3,000 grit. Those will get you to take out the scratches, uh, even out the surface. That's going to get us in where, where, our, where the Polishing Pro system is going to pick up. You're going to need the Polishing Pro system. In your kit, you're going to have three pads, six inch in diameter, though other sizes are available. Everything from two inch up to 20 inch for floor applications. You will have three sets of grits in your kit. Six, eight, and 14,000. You will also need an omnidirectional sander. This is to be utilized with the diamond pads to take out the scratches. The reason we use an omnidirectional sander is that it cross cuts itself and gives us a much more uniform surface so we're not fighting those scratches as I'm sure most of you have. Next, you're going to need a grinder that turns at 10 to 12,000 RPM. Depending on the pad size, you need to get the appropriate grinder. The grinder should be outfitted with a polish backer pad. This is a 6 inch grinder for the 6 inch pads. This is the standard grinder that most, most fabricators utilize with a 4 inch backer on it, rigid, so that we have a nice flat surface. Also, your grinders should be variable speed so that you can start out slow and bring them up to the RPM that's desired to give you the results that you will get. Next, you're going to need a spray bottle with water so that you can lightly lubricate the surface to keep the pad cool, to create a paste so you can get the compound spread evenly over the surface. You will need some acetone to clean the surface prior to starting and also once you're finally done to give you that beautiful gloss. A rigid nylon brush comes in handy because compounds are so fine that a rigid nylon brush with your spray bottle will help release those compounds that can be captured in small fissures in the stone. This will aid you in cleaning the surface. Next, for general cleaning, you are going to need some paper towels. For final cleaning, you're going to need a terry cloth towel to help pull that residue up once we're finished. In addition, since the pads are coming, all are the same, there is not a, a label on the back of them as to what compound, making them universal so that you can use them with different compounds, we suggest that you take a permanent marker and write on the back what grit you have designated this pad for so that you do not cross-hatch your, your grits. This could be detrimental. Finally, I would like to show that the splash guard can be placed in when you're doing small repairs, grinding seams down, and getting that surface back to help reduce the mess, making it an easy and quick turnaround. The stone we're going to use today is Uba Tuba. It's very common. It's actually a hard stone and it's actually very difficult to get the surface back uniform. So we've chose this stone and we've chose this scenario because it is quite common. How many times have you been out on a job, your end of the day, you're cleaning up, your grinder is sitting on the surface of the stone, though everybody says you're not supposed to, and somebody grabs it whoops, now we have a problem. So here we go. I'm going to polish half this stone and it's going to go away.